Good morning, gentlemen. Welcome back to the Married Man, home of the Warrior Husband. I'm Brian Bandis. Appreciate you being with me again. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank you guys for all the positive feedback on the new podcast. I'm really enjoying that, and I'm glad that some of you are as well. So this week, we were obviously talking, for those who read the email, about marriage and money. Huge topic, huge source of uh, challenges in marriage for many, many people. And so I think it's really important. Um, what I do want to share is that I'm not coming at this from an academic standpoint, right? So I'm not going to back up what I'm saying with studies, etc. I'm just going to share experience and sort of my philosophy on this thing. And the first thing I'll, I'll mention, and this is week one of four, I started to put all this into one email and it was just way too much and I didn't want to rush each thought. So I've got four emails coming week one of four. The first thing uh, is that my philosophy is that I believe that it lines up with the with the goal of unity with my wife for us to share all of our money. Now there's exceptions. In fact, for us, I'm self-employed and I've got a chunk of money that's the operating account and I, I run my business with it. Um, so that's an exception. But even that, there's some agreement between my wife and I because we are one. Um, that this is how we're going to handle that. Here's how much needs to be over there so that I can can build what I want to build versus here's how much we need as a family. I've asked her things like, hey, you know, what do you want to have in this account to feel comfortable? Things like that. So my opinion is that is that uh, sharing those funds and having it be our money rather than my money over here and her money over there contributes to unity and absolutely keeps us from falling into that trap of starting to look at things like a balance sheet, which we talked about uh, either last week or the week before. I think that is an absolute trap to start talking to my wife about and looking at our relationship in terms of, uh, you've done this, so I deserve this now, or I have this, so you're entitled to this. And we, we go in this back and forth of owing each other, where whether it's you know, I did the dishes. Well, I took out the trash. Well, I put the kids to bed, so on and so forth. So I think there's a healthy version where we're working together and we're going, man, you're getting worn out. Let me fill in for a little bit. But that's not about someone owing someone. That's coming from a place of care, compassion, love for the other person and wanting what's best for them. So in money, my belief is that, uh, and what I've seen is that when we start doing the separate thing, there starts to be this this division of this is mine, this is yours, it, it uh, hinders that unity that we want, right? Um, and I think it can start to uh, breed a little bit of contempt, a little bit of, you know, the side eye, like, man, he's got that, I don't, whatever. Um, so the other thing that I think goes hand in hand with this, rather than just blindly doing it, is that it needs to facilitate and it necessitates a really high level of communication, thorough communication. So that's what we're going to talk about next, next week. I won't get into it now, is how do we do this idea of sharing our money together in a way that doesn't become harmful? Because that can certainly go poorly if it's not managed and done in a purposeful way, right? So one other thing I want to mention, and this hasn't come up a lot. I talk a lot in The Married Man about about being a warrior husband, right? Offering our strength to our family and sort of a little bit of this idea of pulling ourselves up by our bootstraps because this goal is so worth it. And I do believe that, that it's worth that, that it's worth the effort, but I want to introduce the idea of grace and how does grace play a part? Because to one, to, to one degree, I've got to come in and I've got to fight hard for my family. And to another degree, there's a limit to what I can do because I am a mere mortal, right? I'm just a man and we are flawed. We are flawed. We have our areas of weakness. And I have seen time and again in myself and others that, man, I'm just an imperfect person and there's a limit to what I can do without help. So consider this idea of grace, giving yourself grace, giving your spouse grace. Consider the possibility that on occasion you're going to need grace. I just want to plant that seed, and we're going to come back to it in a few weeks. Guys, thank you for being with me this morning. It's always a pleasure. I consider it an absolute privilege that any of you would read my emails, watch my videos, listen to my podcast. So I'm glad that it speaks to you, and I look forward to talking to you on Monday morning. See ya.